Assalamu alaikum, this is Hanir from the TL Tajin, and today we're going to be preparing an easy version of an Algerian flatbread called Hops Tajin. The way of preparing this Algerian bread is quite kind and suiting and requires a lot of kneading, but my no knead recipe will have you making this bread like a boss. In a large mixing bowl, we're going to add in the salt. Next, we're going to add in the semolina flour. And next we're going to add in our bread flour. If you don't have any bread flour, you can use all-purpose flour as well. Then our dry yeast. And lastly, we're going to add in some hot water. It does have to be hot, but cool enough to the touch. In a spatula, we are going to mix our dough. So there's no kneading in this recipe. This bread dough does not need to be kneaded as well. But it is very important that you mix all the flour and the semolina it's incorporated into the water and that you don't have any flour or semolina sticking to the sides of your bowl if you do find that your dough is looking very dry you can add a few tablespoons of water one tablespoon at a time until you do have a very wet dough this dough does have to be wet it's not going to be smooth it's going to be very shy So here is our mixed dough. As you can see, it looks very scraggy, shaggy, almost even weird. You're probably going to question if this dough is going to even work. Is this how it's supposed to be? But believe me, this is how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be really rough looking. Now just cover your dough with a clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and let it rise for one hour at the room temperature. The dough will be big and puffy and really loose after the resting time. Go onto your work surface and cut in half. Form each of the portions into a bowl. Now on a floured surface, shape the dough. You can use a rolling pin or flatten them out with the palm of your hands. After shaping, your dough should be nice and round and there should already be bubbles forming as you can see here. You can transfer your dough to a piece of parchment or baking paper to make it easier for you to transfer it from your worktop to the cooking surface. Then allow the dough to rise for another and resting time your dough should be very puffy as you can see here pan for about 5 minutes before transferring your dough to the pan. Bake the dough on each side on a low temperature, flipping in between. Keep moving your bread around with your hands or with the aid of a spatula so that it doesn't burn. Hi, Here's our finished hops tagine, our Algerian fried bread. As you can see, when we, it Ready? springs back to so the touch, cut into it. and when we cut it open, it's very soft and full of big and small holes. As you can see here, a lot of the air pockets from you can see a lot of the holes. rising of very the bread, nice. since it was a really wet dough. So you have a nice spongy and squishy dough See? that's really soft that you can use to mop up your favorite stews, soups, and tagines. It's also good in sandwiches or using as a spoon when you have some dips. So I like to cut it into wedges like this, into six pieces Papa. or four pieces depending on the size of the bread that you've made and serve these to my family 
for our lunch and our dinner. So inshallah I hope you like this recipe and I encourage you to give it a try since it's a really easy one. If you have any comments in this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment box below. If you tried any of my videos please share them on Facebook 